the highlights can actually be talked about in two different ways. First, there was how the poor access ICTs. And they, they essentially were able to find out that to an overwhelming extent, the poor were accessing ICTs. There are stats like 94% uh, of people in Pakistan had, uh, at the bottom of the pyramid amongst the poor had accessed uh, ICTs in the previous three months. And those levels were, were about uh, the same for India, Sri Lanka, even higher in Thailand and the Philippines. And in Africa, rates were a bit lower in terms of their access, especially to, to mobiles but they're still significantly higher than what would have been assumed uh, before the project. The second set of interesting findings that they had were around why people used ICTs. Why, why did the poor especially use ICTs? Um, and so they asked them, what was your principal reason for using it? Is it um, to earn money or, or save money? Or is it for family or social relationships? or is it for emergency purposes? And overwhelmingly in the three regions, emergency purposes came out as the main reason um, that they used uh, ICTs. Again, not surprisingly when you realize that um, these are people who don't have insurance, these are people who are extremely vulnerable to economic shocks, climactic shocks, geographic shocks, whatever it is. And therefore the, the mobile phone ends up being a lifeline for them. On the social side and overall, the absolute winner year after year is dealing with emergencies. And again, I think we need to, 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 to reconceptualize that finding. It's not like calling 911. I mean, there is no 911. What you do when you have an emergency is you call a friend or a family member. That's what you do. So this allows you to do that. Well, another one that, that might be related to helping to understand that is the, the gr huge expenditures that the poor uh, made on uh, communication costs, on mobile costs, in uh, conflict areas. So in uh, Jaffna in Sri Lanka, which was where um, there was the, the conflict with the Tamil, expenditure levels were between 12 and 15 percent of monthly income which is incredible. I mean, we're talking about the groups that were making less than $100 a month. They're spending 12 to $15 of that on, on mobiles. So that seemed absolutely incredible. But again, until you know, or until you think about the fact that these are people who are in incredibly precarious situations because they have to deal with violence and conflict. And therefore, again, the mobile becomes a lifeline uh, for them. So it makes sense to be spending that much money. They need it for their survival, for their livelihood, and to deal with any uh, issues of vulnerability. When there's disruption in people's lives, uh, they need communication. And then the communication then becomes n also an economic uh, source of revenue because there are families that are abroad start giving them money. Uh, so it sort of reinforces. So because of that, you call them even more.